to get the title going then let's add a new snippet and we're going to call this the woo um, title two just so that i know it's the second one and then we're going to create a function and in this case i'll just call it by underscore um, archive title right and then we can save changes and activate now in this case what we're doing is we're going to be accessing a filter so what we're going to do is we're going to pull information from WooCommerce, we're going to change it, and then we're going to send it off to the website. So that's essentially what the filter does. And in this case, the data that we want to filter is going to be um, the variable string. And the filter that we're going to use is one that's actually been made for the title, and that is called the WooCommerce Product Loop Title Classes. So WooCommerce. Um, product loop title classes. So we're going to target that. So it'll be the ad filter WooCommerce product loop title. And um, let's get the spelling right classes. And then into that, we are going to pull in um, the name of our function. So that will now replace whatever. WooCommerce has added in to this particular function and and so it's very simple now we can actually assign our own class to the title so it's as simple as saying string equals um, and it'll be the class name that we're going to use so by I'm just going to call it archive title and then we'll return Um, the string and that's pretty much it that's all that we have to do for this to work then I'm going to save the changes right so we've returned the string and now when we go and reload the page um, you will see that the title is going to change and if we inspect that title now you'll see that there is the name of our um, class that we created. So that's how easy this is to add your own class to the archive titles. Let's maybe just quickly do a little bit of styling then. So let's customize. In this case, I'll just use the customize because we can obviously see the changes live. And then let me just go and inspect again. And we're going to add a class and it'll be as described there. We can just pop that in here. So let's go. Um, archive styles and pop in the first class and um, previously what I did is I just created a, a little box um, which appeared you know which put the title underneath and just gave it a little gray background so what I'm going to do now is do the same so I'll just go with 100% uh, then I'm going to go margin zero and I'm going to go padding um, maybe 10 pixels. Um, let's go background in this case F7, F7, F7 and then um, text align. Let's center the text and let's go font size. And the font size here, I'm going to make um, 20 pixels, maybe a bit more. Uh, let's make it maybe 22. And then I can also change the font weight. So font, and we can make that 600, not as bold. Right, so there we have changed all the items in our shop. And the other thing I'd like to do is just create a bit of space between that and the next element and so margin margin bottom will just up to um, uh, five or let's make that maybe just eight pixels right so there we have we've styled that now there's another little thing that you can do here and that is that you can target 
the um, products that have specific um, that are in specific categories so if i wanted to target music so i want to change the title for music to be slightly different to the titles from the rest of the website so what i'm going to do is head over to my snippet here and now i'm going to return a different value so uh, what we're going to do is check if the terms exist for that particular product so we're going to create an if statement i'm just going to do this so to get the um just to get the layout of the um if statement correct so we have if do something and else and then in the else i'm just going to say that string is equal to archive title so now i'm going to use the has terms check to see so if has underscore terms and what terms are we looking for so i'm going to put in here um, music so if it has the term music and what kind of term is it it's a product cat right so if it has um, the term music and the term is a product category then i'm going to return a different string so now it will be um, let's just add music to the end of that so if it has the term music and it's a product category so it could be um, product tag then return that string otherwise return the standard string and let's save and we head over to the website and refresh and now you'll see that um, uh, we have a little error here so if uh, it's not has terms it has singular term so if has term right refresh and now you'll see that the album is no longer formatted right so in order to adjust that let's just quickly have a look here and now i can add my own style so i'm going to copy that we're going to pop that in there and now term dash and music so music so if i wanted to change the color of that for music i can simply now color um, and if I wanted it black, so now music will be um, with a different color and all the other categories will look the same. I can now take that um, one step further. So I'm going to publish that. And here in my snippet, let's say I wanted to add that styling to more than one category. So I wanted to add music uh, to music and then let's say also accessories for some reason. So I'm going to head back here, and now we need to create an array. So we go array, and I'm now going to wrap um, music in the array. And I'm also going to add another term. So, and the term is accessories, because we know there are quite a few of them. So if the term is in music or accessories, then give it this class. Otherwise, everything else gets that class. So with that in place, let's save and then head over to the website. We're going to refresh and now you'll see that all the accessories have the black, all the music have the black um, title and everything else has the standard red title. So that's how you can, um, you know, differentiate your products just based on the title. Of course, you can go a little bit further than um, just what I've done. So if you wanted to make a radical change so that it looked really different, then you could, of course, do something like um, a background of black. Um, so there we have a back, black background. And then, of course, we would just change the color then. So from the black, we might um, maybe we want to make it yellow. So that's another way that you can then draw customers' attention to something different. Right, so that's just to illustrate then how easy it is then to format the title um, in your product loop. So I'm going to head back here and just show you that again. So if we have a look at that snippet of code, we basically 
first start off by just saying the string is equal to this class, return the string, and then we said no, if it has terms, so if that product has that term, then replace it with that class. So now when we inspect, you'll see that that title has the BY Archive Title Music class, and the standard class then applies to hoodies, and that is the BY Archive Title. Um, you could take this um, a little bit further if you wanted to, and you could add another um, if statement. And I'm just going to copy that if statement. And then I'm going to paste it in there. Right. And then else. So now we have the if. If it has that else, if it has the term music and accessories, and then here I'm going to say um, a decor and um, hoodies, and then we can change this again now to I'll just call it decor, and we copy the name of that style, and we can save. And then when we go and have a look at the website, we'll see that Daycorn Hoodies now um, will have no styling. And we just head over to Customize, Additional CSS, and then that's the, I know that that's going to be the class, so it follows the same layout, H2 dot, and then I'm just going to copy that. Now, the nice thing about this is that if you're working on multiple websites, you're now replacing the WooCommerce classes with your own classes, which means that it'll be a lot quicker if you want to um, do a bit of a new styling for a new site. So let's go with yellow, and then here I'm going to go with the black. Right, so we've got um, in our layout now, we've got the black background with the yellow. We have the gray with the black. And if I head on to the next page, anything that's not a hoodie, so then we still have the um, logo collection, the long sleeves, the, the polo. Um, yeah, so that, that's just um, to illustrate then how you can update the titles in your website using a very simple um, WooCommerce hook. Um, like that, and then just updating a bit of style, and you have a completely new look and feel. Right, the next thing that we're going to look at then is, I'm going to head over to my snippets here. So we've we've done the loop, we've done the title. Let's just get back to normal size. And the next thing that we're going to have a look at then in our list is um, the WooCommerce percentage, sales percentage, um, yeah, this just says sale. So let's have a look then at changing that sale to the percentage that you sell. Uh, that's on sale. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching.